This was me in high school, playing video games all the time and not really caring how I looked. But eventually, I realized something had to change. So I scoured the internet trying to learn the secrets to having that glow up I'd seen so many people have before. And after years and years of improvements, I think I have the answers. How to look taller, how to style, where to find clothes. We've talked about all of these topics in the past month. But today, I'm going to bring it all together to tell you everything you need to know to have that glow up that you're after. If you're new here, which many of you are, my name is Dom. I'm just a guy that's into fashion, improving and doing new things. And four years ago, I took pictures that looked like this. And now I look like this on a daily basis. And I'll give you the keys to achieve that change, but without the BS. And here's the first thing that people know that they'll never really put in a video. Time changes everything. So why is it that so many people have glow ups when they start getting older? Well, it's because the baby fat and chubby cheeks will go away, puberty hits, and you start to have more defined features. But you know that already. So let's put aside the obvious and talk about what you can actually change right now that isn't time gated based on your genetics. So let's start at the top. Hair is your best friend. It's going to make you look terrible or it's going to make you look amazing, depending on which way you style it. Recently, longer hair has been more appealing. You see it in old money style, you see it in street style, and pretty much everything else. Now I'm not talking about shoulder length hair on guys, because that's not a typically widely accepted thing. But as long as it's well kept, then you should be fine. Learning how to style your hair, what products to use, and how to keep it the same all day long is a personal process. It will take trial and error to learn what's going to work best for you. But once you get it down, you won't really have to worry about it again. Through the years, I have had some very strange hairstyles. Starting from the classic bowl cut, to the spiked look, even to the side part. In 2020, I swapped to a middle part, which was becoming pretty popular and still is. Right now I'm in between when my hair is pretty short and when it's normally at its longest. I typically will let it grow out a good amount before cutting it. Now, of course, everyone is going to have different types of hair. And this is important to know to choose the right kind of cut for you. I'd recommend looking up a video talking about your specific hair type to get a better idea of what is going to work well for you. If you have straight slash slightly wavy hair, then you're in luck because that is my hair type. So here's a few cuts that I like that you should try out. When it comes to products to keep your hair looking good throughout the day, the common option is pomade, which is like a medium hold product. So it won't really glue your hair to your head, but it should provide a pretty good hold. A lot of people also like creams that have slightly less hold, but work better for a wide variety of hair types. So do this in order. First, find your hair type. Second, look up your face shape. This can really help you find out what kind of cut is going to look best on your face. Third, find hairstyles that work for you. And finally, grab a product that will work best for the style you choose. After that, all you have to do is practice with it. It takes a little bit of time to figure out, you know, how to keep your hair in the position you want or how to style it. But I promise you'll come up with something that looks great. Now that we're done with the hair portion, we got to talk about your skin because man, some of you are looking dusty, bro. You got to do something about that. And luckily for you, I have a whole video on this topic. So if you don't have a skincare routine or don't really know where to start, click up here, open that in another tab and then come back. Regardless, here's the TLDR. Learn your skin type whether it's oily, dry, combination, or normal. And once you have that done, start looking for products that are going to complement your specific skin type. Most people's main concern with skin is how to deal with acne. So start implementing a full routine and stick to it, and it will definitely help with that. So I start with exfoliating and cleansing, which takes all the stuff out of your pores and cleans your face. From there, you apply a toner, which will help maintain your skin's texture before you go on to the serum step. This is really what differs between skin types. So be sure to do your own research based on which one you are. And after that, find a good moisturizer and use that every day. Once you take an hour to learn about your skin type, what to use and what kind of routine you need, it should only take you about five minutes to apply, but it can save you from looking five years older than you do. Some girls are way ahead of us guys at this. And the difference between someone who glows up and somebody who doesn't could very well just be the skincare. So don't take this part lightly. Next, we gotta talk about one of the most common ideas behind glowing up, your physique. Now, most of you don't know, but I was actually a division one athlete just last year. I competed for over a decade and I can reliably tell you that the formula 
for getting in shape is three parts. Diet is number one, of course. Then workouts, with a caveat, we'll get back to that. And external motivation. So let me motivate you to subscribe because only a small percentage of you are. And if every one of you does, then I can start linking you to where you need to go and save you some time. Sounds like a good deal to me. Anyways, if you have ever tried to work out before, you'll know that finding motivation to keep on a workout schedule is very difficult if the only thing you have to keep you on track is your will. So external motivation is one of the crucial factors in getting you to where you need to be. If you wanna lose a bunch of weight, if you wanna slim down, if you wanna build a ton of muscle, you need something to strive for and you need somebody to keep you on track. Luckily, if you wanna have a glow up, then that is something already to strive for. But now you need somebody to hold you accountable. So set up something simple. For some, that could be working out with a friend or a partner or whatever, who will be upset if you don't show up. For others, you'll have to increase the stakes a little bit. Talk to a parent, a friend, someone you trust, and tell them that if you don't achieve your goal, you'll give them $100 or you'll do something that you don't wanna do. That way you'll keep on track not just out of discipline, but also to avoid doing something like that. Then we come back to diet, which everyone should know by now is the most important part of losing weight or gaining muscle. I don't wanna talk about this too much because there is an endless supply of content out there talking about nutrition, and I'm definitely not a dietitian. But generally speaking, the solution is straightforward. If you wanna lose weight, consume less calories than you're burning. If you wanna gain weight or gain muscle, consume more calories than you burn. Your body will use those extra calories to help build muscle. But if you aren't eating enough, you'll likely just end up toning down. For those that are on the larger side already, your body will have an easier time taking the storage of fat that you already have and converting that to muscle. So you don't have to worry too much about not building muscle as you get slimmer because that will happen on its own. However, for those coming up in weight, there is a bit of a bulk required to actually build mass on your muscles. The theory in the community is to consume around one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 150 pounds, then you'd wanna consume 150 grams of protein. And that would be an optimal amount per day to gain as much muscle as you can. But keep in mind, that's just a benchmark. You'll still build muscle if you don't hit that amount of protein. It just won't be as fast as if you were consuming that much. But does the food you consume really matter in losing weight or building muscle? Well, not really. Protein and how many calories you consume are the main drivers of the change. Anything outside of that is pretty much just a marginal gain. You don't have to be all meat all the time to build muscle. There are plenty of vegetarian bodybuilders out there, so eat what you want as long as you stick to the plan. Listen, everywhere you look online today will tell you you should be doing a push-pull legs routine or do a well-rounded routine that's going to work all of your muscles. But that's completely wasted effort if you know specifically what you want to build. If you have chicken legs and a large upper body, then you probably don't need to be doing upper body workouts all the time. You should probably specifically be working on your legs to even out your physique. And that goes for the other way around. You're here because you wanna glow up in the next year, not glow up in five years. So let's focus on making you look more well-rounded. Research where you wanna build muscle. For guys, your chest, your abs, legs, and shoulders tend to be the most common areas. Also, keep in mind, the buys are for the guys. Most people don't really care how big your arms are. So don't go pulling a bicep or something because you think you need to curl to glow up because it's just not true. Don't worry, arms are part of the process. You just won't specifically target them. So getting in shape depends on what your idea of glowing up is. If you just wanna get slimmer or have abs, then your best bet is to do cardio and ab workouts and not really worry too much about building muscle everywhere else. If you operate in a caloric deficit, you do cardio and you do abs, you will achieve that goal. And you can get there very quickly. If you wanna stop looking like the skeleton in Minecraft, then it might take you a little bit longer. 
but staying in a caloric surplus and working on the muscles that you specifically want to build will get you there. It really depends on genetics and how hard you work at it to determine how long it'll take. So take these concepts, research them in depth and get to work. This part isn't a cakewalk. You can't go to the store and buy abs. You can't sell fat. So if you really want to glow up, you got to get going. While you're working on that, start considering fashion. Think about how you dress now versus someone that's in your end goal physique. This is the time to work on improving your style behind closed doors so you can pop out looking like a totally different person. There are various different fashion videos on this channel. I'll link you the playlist up here and you can start there for a more in-depth exploration of styles. Fashion is something that changes all the time. But for guys, there are certain things that are just timeless that will never go out of style. To start, here are the type of styles that are popular right now that you should really take a look at trying out for yourself. Old money is a really popular one these days. The old money aesthetic has been taking over social media, TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, everywhere. That's really popular right now because it also fits really well into the longer hairstyle that is also popular. The streetwear style is also really popular. That one's been around for quite some time. It's basically oversized clothing, thrifted stuff, and some big chunky shoes. You can also go for a more casual style. That's kind of what you would see people at high school wearing, just like hoodies and whatever. But that one's just a little bit more bland. So if you wanna stand out, I wouldn't really choose that one. Obviously, this really depends on the kind of physique you currently have and what you're going after. But if you're trying to show off how much more in shape you are, I'd recommend trying to avoid the more baggy clothes. These have their place, but it really is the best practice to wear clothing that fits you properly to be able to show off how you look. Right now, thrifting is super popular and is often the most respectable way of finding clothing these days. However, the kind of stuff you're gonna find while thrifting is probably not going to fit you very well. So I recommend avoiding that, or if you are going to thrift, try and find a good tailor. When it comes to where you should start and where to find good styles, at affordable prices, click this video up here. It should have everything you need. Trust me, if you do your hair differently, have a good skincare routine and get in shape, many people won't notice as much as you think they should. If you don't improve how you dress, it will drown out all the other improvements you've made. So this step is not skippable. And neither is this one. A glow up is more than your appearance. If you're a shy person, it really won't fit your new look. You have to improve your confidence as well because someone that all of a sudden glows up isn't going to be the kind of person to hide from everyone. They'll be confident in who they are, what they do, and how they look. And from experience, the best way to do this is to stop caring what everyone thinks of you. I've talked about this in videos in the past, but the spotlight effect is a problem. It's basically the idea that everybody cares about what you're doing, how you look, what you're up to, but they really don't care even remotely close to how much you think they do. And this is something that really helps you build confidence. You've seen the tube girl videos going around social media recently, really, really big on TikTok and Instagram reels. And if you ever notice, look in the background of those videos. Do you ever see anybody laughing you see people joking about it. Do you see people really caring that much? Do you really think somebody is going to go back home and talk about that and slander that person all day long? Of course not. People do not care that much. And they're probably going to forget about it in the next 10 minutes. So confidence is something you can develop over time. It's really just a practice thing. You stand in front of people and do public speaking. You can go up to somebody you don't know and ask them questions. You can just go out and be amongst other people and try not to be so conscious about what everybody else thinks. And I promise you, if you take the conscious effort to stop caring and to start looking at people as if they are the same as you, you will eventually get to a point where you're comfortable with yourself and confident with your body. And for guys, I know this can be a complicated thing, but as long as you make improvements that you're happy about, that you are proud about, then why do you care what anybody else thinks? So once you've got that down, the only thing preventing you from having your glow up is time and dedication to it. You're gonna have to learn, you're gonna have to practice, you're gonna have to improve and work hard to reach your goal. But if you take what I just told you and you actually apply these concepts, it's only a matter of time. Once you get started, take a before picture, work hard, and then follow my Instagram and send them to me after you're done because I wanna see all your amazing glow ups.
Now, sometime in the next month, I'm going to be making videos that are unlike anything else on this channel. And if you don't want to miss out on that, subscribe and I'll catch you next week.